Hi, Janet Jackson. Hello. How are you? I'm well, thank you. You're looking good. Thank you. When I saw the new poster, so let me see her in person. See if they airbrushed something. They didn't. How are you, Mama? I'm good. You ready to blast off? I am. Like blast off, blast off. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> how you been? Talking, talk, tell me. First of all, tell me how it was working on this album. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about some of the production. I know Jermaine. I'm, I'm actually curious to ask this. How much the production um, did? How much of a role did Jermaine play in this album? Like literally, I know he played like the biggest role of all in a lot of ways, being the, his position at Virgin Records. But as far as contribution to actual production, literally, he was a, a, a big part of this album. How many songs? Oh gosh, well, I haven't chosen exactly what songs are oh, okay. on the album, but. Jermaine, Jimmy, Terry, myself, uh, we worked together on this. He played a very big part, very big role in this. Now, you've been working with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis for, what, 20 years? Yes, 20 years. And now, that must be a serious chemistry <laughs> to be able to work with the same people for 20 years. We're very close. They're like my brothers, and uh, we, we do have a great chemistry. We, we understand each other a great deal. I think we, we work very well together. I love those guys. What do you think made for that um, that chemistry? Anything in particular? I mean, are they, how are these guys in the studio? They're great. They're easy. Very easy to work with. Um, one thing that I really, truly love about them is they, they allow the artists to, to, to bring themselves to each project that they do, um, as opposed to taking over the entire project themselves. And I think that's very important. For the, well, for the audience to hear that on each each record, each album that they produce. Let me ask you this. Being being in the game as long as you have, you know, you've been solo now for 20 years, right? Actually so, longer. Man. How is, let me ask you this. What is, what is, what is something that, that you just love about the music industry? What is the, the biggest thing that you love about, about being a, an artist? Creating music. I love to create music. I love writing. I love the fans, the love and energy that you get from performing live. There's nothing like it. When you walk on a stage and you and that adulation, that energy, that love, there's there's it's beyond. It's it's such a high. What do you like better, being in the studio recording or being performing the songs that you've recorded live on stage? You know what? I love it all. It's it all depends upon which stage I'm at. I can't wait to get in the studio when I'm on the stage, and when I'm on stage, I can't wait to get on stage. When I'm in the studio, I can't wait to get on stage performing the songs that I'm, I'm writing. Does JD get on your nerves in the studio? <laughs> Tell the truth, Janet. Does not, he get on your nerves? Not at all. No. Not at all. Not even when y'all did this one. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Janet Jackson's in the building. I got a group of questions for. Rock with your boy, man. Brand new music. The name of the album is called... 20 Years Old. Wow. And it's going to be out when? September 26th. You got a Virgo album? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a yes. Virgo. You're lucky. No, that's, that's Libra. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, what'd you just say? It's Libra, isn't it? A what? That's Libra. Oh, it's Libra? Yeah. Oh, I'm September 3rd. I thought it was still Virgo. No. So you got a Libra album? Yes. Does that mean anything? <laughs> Or that's just the date. That's just the date. There it is. Janet Jackson, Power 106, Fel Feezy, rock with your boy. Let's go. Power 106 with Hip Hop Lives, Fel Feezy, Janet Jackson. Uh, I love that record, babe. Thank you. Now, there's somebody in the studio that you've known for a minute. Yes. I've known him for a minute, too. And he is here. I told him, I said, you got to elaborate a little bit. I, I need to ask this man some some questions along with you. And boy, do I got some questions. J.D., what up, man? What's going on? What up? What questions you got? <laughs> you crazy. You'll find out. Uh, nah, I got some questions for the album, man. Come on. Yeah. Janet, Janet, you really, you really, he didn't get on your nerves at all in the studio? Uh, Jermaine was great to work with. Absolutely. A, a, a real joy, really. What about outside the studio? Does he ever get on your nerves? <laughs> Not a little bit? Like, do you ever feel like just saying, J.D., shut up? Do I ever feel like saying? Yeah. You mean, do I ever do? <laughs> <laughs> wow. No. 
<laughs> I'm not going to put you on the spot like that, but I'm going to take that as a yes. <laughs> no, cut it out. Cut it out. So, Jermaine, you obviously, we all grew up listening to Janet. And to work in the studio with her, obviously, I'm assuming that up until recently, you had never really worked in the studio with her. Yeah, that's right. Talk about that. Um, Does she ever get on your nerves? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> <laughs> See, Janet, now you wish nah, you'd have said that. Uh, nah. <laughs> uh, nah, but in the studio, it was, it was it was cool. It was like, you know, in the beginning, it was kind of like, you know, I was thinking about it, like, too much, I think. You know what I mean? Like, I was overthinking in the beginning, like, damn. I'm in the studio with Janet. Yeah, kind of, sort of, like, you know what I mean? Like, almost, not like that, but almost to that effect. Like, you thinking, you overthinking, like, you know, you, you trying to figure out, you know what I'm saying? I ain't the type of producer that had to go to the studio and figure out what I'm going to do. It's right. Like, it's just, it just come to me. So when I'm in the studio and I'm wrecking my brain, I'm basically in the wrong mode. So I had to get up out of that mode for a second and just get back to doing what I do. And not question it so much. Yeah, not so. You Second know, not guess. Cool. Yeah, you can't question it. You gotta just, you know, you gotta go with the flow. So I start asking her questions and uh, doing the same thing I do with all the other young artists, and we we started getting questions. And that's how we got to the title of Twenty Years Old. So um, everything just started coming together once I started asking questions. They were acting as if it was just a a different, a new artist as opposed to a, a, a established artist. Hmm. Well. Janet, was there ever times you that you wanted to say, I don't like that. That's whack. <laughs> <laughs> what about a, a song, a beat? Or I don't know, just anything. Anything? Like, I don't know if I should tell him that's Jermaine. He done did all these hits and. Of course man, not. That's whack. Yeah, he he got told. He what? He got told, not quite like that. He got told. Yeah. But Did not, you pull him to the side and say, "Baby, we got to go down the hall and talk for a second. You know, I get really quiet. Right. That's how they know I don't like it. <laughs> when I don't say anything, then they move on. Yeah, oh, so you know you be in the studio and you be you be nodding your head real real hard. Right. And, and you look the, over and there. The artists ain't. come in and the person be like, they just be looking at you and you thinking that you you got the neck breaker going. And you're like, what the hell is wrong with them? Right. right. They can't hear this. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, we got a couple of them. I had that happen a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right, man. Janet Jackson's in the building. Jermaine Dupree is in the building. Let's go back a little bit, man. Can we go back? What's your favorite um, all-time Janet Jackson song, J.D.? Oh, man. Um, it's going to be like, it's going to be a slow song. Like, it's, you know what I'm saying? Like... Um, let's wait a while. Probably is my favorite. I'm gonna dig it up. You know what I mean? But then, then it's it's a bunch of them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but all the ballads is just to, for me. I was just into the ballads. It just puts you in a mood. And, you know, <laughs> we, gonna get, do, we gonna do that right now. <laughs> I'm gonna dig that one up. I bet you are into them ballads. Yeah. Yes, yes. When y'all alone. Yeah. Power 106. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> that wasn't good. I don't know. Janet Jackson's in the house. Jermaine Dupree's in the house. Okay. I'm going to let this play in the background just to, just to let y'all know what y'all can't get until September 26th. Janet, um, how many other songs did, um, did Jermaine do exactly on the album? Oh, gosh. I... I don't even know. I mean, we we did a lot. Jermaine, myself, Jimmy and Terry, we worked together. I I never counted. If you had to guess how many um how many uh, records that he did is gonna make the album, what would you say? If you just had to guess. If I had to guess, I don't even know how many songs I'm gonna put on the album. How many records I'm gonna put on the on the, on the uh, CD? Uh, the majority of them. I mean, we we work we work together, so hmm. it was collaborative effort. Y'all have just been sitting by the pool and you're like, I got an idea for a song, J.D. Sipping coladas. You have a nickname for him? Yes. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here comes the question. No, no. No. Can you share it with us, Janet? Come on, what's JD's, what's J.D.'s nickname, Janet? Come on. No. Does he have a nickname for you? Um, you have to ask him. Uh-oh. He ain't gonna say it. Yes, he will. You know, I like how JD just kind of wandered he off. He just walks out. He got nervous. 
<laughs> You're funny. <laughs> He walked in here into the, where I'm at. You know, if y'all, for everybody, obviously you can't see what's going on. I'm in one room where the turntables are, and I can see through a window in the studio where Janet is right next to me. And Jermaine was in there, and then he walked in here into the turntables. <laughs> and he walked out looking nervous as hell. Like, tell me what you gonna ask. Um, I'm not. You know, I'm not. Honestly, I'm not gonna get real deep into y'all's personal life, but I am gonna ask you this. Could you um could you see that day coming where y'all make that special thing happen? What's that special thing? Oh, Janet, why are you making it so <sighs> Okay. Well that could be anything. That could be a lot of things. Okay. Do you ever see yourself driving off in that drop top Bentley with the cans with the strings on the back <laughs> with the cans dragging behind the car? <laughs> Do you ever see it? Do I ever see it? Yep. Just tell us, Janice. Is it going to happen? Jermaine. Hold on. Don't tell us. We'll find out when we come back. Hold on, y'all. We're back. What? If you just joined us, Fel Feezy, Janet Jackson is here. Jermaine Dupree is here. Now, Janet, Jermaine is back in the room. And the last thing that I asked was, do you ever see that Bentley... On them 24s, rolling off into the sunset, dragging some strings with some cans attached. And you were going to say something, but I cut you off and went to commercials. I was going to say something? Mm-hmm. You have to repeat what you just said. My uh, my volume was down. Oh, take it to, yeah, turn her volume up. No, it's up now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can hear you. Where's Jermaine? He's right here. Okay, yeah. JD. Yeah. What, <laughs> what, I, what I asked her was, do you ever, does she ever see that day... That the Bentley's driving off, dragging the cans with the strings. Oh. And she said, hmm. And she said, Jermaine. And then I cut her off. Oh, that's what's up. So that's where we're at right now. I just called his name. Right. I wasn't going to... Insinuate anything? No, I just called his name. That's a question for Jermaine. Jermaine. What they do? She said... <laughs> <laughs> she said that's a question for you, dog. Yeah. I mean, would it be a Bentley on 24s? What kind of car would y'all drive off on the sunset with? A and plane. A plane? Oh, y'all would fly. Would, would the cans be on the plane? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> if you're going to do it, you got to do it. You, you know? know? Okay. You know how I do it. If but, you're going to go down, it's going to go all the way down or it ain't going to go at all. Well, you know how I do it. As long as there's a car to pick us up at the church, I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so all, all joking aside, man, do, Jermaine, do you ever see that day coming? Uh, I don't, uh, sure. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, you know, it's hard to say right now. See, I see, I see September 26th coming right now, so <laughs> I'm trying to get to that date before I get to anything else. Right. I don't know. We go. Janet might not want you after September 26th. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Oh! It's going to be all good. Janet, you're going to sell 40 billion copies. Please believe that. Hey, so let me ask something, Janet. What, what's the, what's the, um, what's your favorite city to visit? Obviously, besides L.A. What's your favorite city? To, to perform in, to visit, to chill in? Or? Chill, just to chill out. Do absolutely nothing but hang out and do nothing. Miami. Miami? Yeah. Hmm. I thought Paris. Okay. He's, well, I was thinking of the States. Oh, okay. You want to go to Europe? Yeah. You go to Europe. I mean, there's there's Paris, there's Japan, there's uh, well Tokyo, there's uh, Rome. Oh, you know all those places I go all the time. Anguilla. Where where? <laughs> the places you go all the time? Oh yeah, well you know, whatever you and Jermaine want to take me, and I can tag along. <laughs> I carry I carry y'all's bags just to see some of them places. Well, he's a fool. <laughs> so. Is there a place that um that you'd like to go that Jermaine hasn't taken you? Maybe you can tell him right now because then he'll have to take you because he said it on the air. Yes. Where? I'd like to go to Egypt. JD, you got a studio out there in Egypt? Me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, didn't I see you in your video? You was jumping from like Egypt to, to Paris. No, she said Egypt. Egypt. 
Well, what you? She wants to go to see the pyramids, dog. Thank okay. You. Yeah. You got to build yourself a so-so deaf pyramid. Yeah. Uh, close. We gonna get to that right now. We gonna go to uh, the the uh, what's the little spot in Vegas? <laughs> Luxor. <laughs> the Luxor. Yeah. We yeah. Go to Come the out there. I DJ out there in Club Rage sometimes. That'll be the closest thing to Egypt. Oh boy, you crazy. Hey, um, Janet, what's some of the female artists out right now you think are hot? Um, I'm really enjoying Cassie's song. The Me and You? Yeah, I like that. Huh, okay. Um, who else? There's quite a few. I mean, my, my friends and I, we like to listen to, like, NDRE and, and Erica Badu and and things like that. Huh. What about, um, what about rapper? MC? I hate saying rapper. <laughs> what MC? What songs am I into right now? Yeah, like, like on hip-hop songs. Um, I'm really liking that fiasco. L- Lupe Fiasco? Yeah, Ice Cube, that you. Cube, what up? Yeah. Got my Vans on, but they look like sneakers. What you know about that? <laughs> you don't know nothing about that. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's Two Shorts group from the Bay. They actually just got to deal with Jive. Well, see, that's a, that's a, that's another one, the Two Shorts. Blow the whistle. Two short blow the whistle? Yeah. What you know about that? Janet, don't <laughs> let me find out. Cut it out. Let me find out. See, that? See that's what, and, and J.D., we were we just sitting there talking to Janet when we were off the air, that I'm, I'm upset with you, bro, because uh, me and Janet were talking, and she said, did we bring any new music? Or I said, we, I don't know how it got brought up. I said, well, I don't think J.D. brought any new music. Oh, yeah. How you going to bring, come up here, superstar DJ, Felly Fell, that loves playing new music. And you didn't bring me no damn new music from the album? All right, man. You didn't bring one I got, record? I got to pace it out, man. You know oh, come on. I got to pace it out, <laughs> fella. You know, we, 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 we way early. You know, September 26th, September 26th, September 26th is a long... <laughs> This is, you know, it's, it's a good little ways away right now. It's like a good month and a half right now, or two months and a half, right? Right. So, I mean, you know, you'll be the first to get it, though. You know that. Next week, I need a new record. Without a doubt. You know, once we once we go up, you know, we haven't... Uh, Call On Me is not out yet on iTunes or nothing like that. So once people can get the record, and once the video come out, then, I'm, you know, I'm off to the... You know how I do. Yeah. But right now, this is what it is. This is the focus right here, man. This is the focus. Blast it off. Be the DJ. Do your thing, baby. Man, this Let's is the go. focus, man. Right here on Power 106. You beaches. You know what I'm saying? This is JD, man. It's my...